Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips, a 2020 year, year, year boy. Anyway, look, just got to hit some videos out and I just, I came back from work probably a week ago and I put some videos on but the lighting was bad so I thought I'll just wait till I'm on my couch at home. Now I've got a bit of a sore back, I don't know what I've done to it but it's been sore for about a month so I'm just sort of forced to chill at home on my couch and do fuck all but um it's all good Mrs. is at work chilling with the dog he's chilled out so on today's episode on episodes kind of been talk england um, on today's episode look chains just a quick one if you're using four chains so you got four chains coming off the hook before you hook that up to anything, before you hook up anything like, say, a cage or scaffolding with the lugs on it, any four-point lift, what I want you to do is just have a quick look up and just look where the chains are and to see if they're crossed. So you can just hook one chain up if you want to a corner and then look up and get them all in order and all in unison. So before you hook up any four-chain four point lift with four chains just have a quick look up at the headache ball or whatever hook you got on and just see if they're crossed and see where they are don't just start hooking up all right that's the first tip so anytime you've got four chains on you're hooking them up before you hook them up just have a look up to see if they're crossed all right because you don't want them crossed you want to be professional you want to get it first time every time and just that two second look up helps you do that. Another thing, if you've only got two chains on the hook, all right, this is for you guys, okay, so any of you gurus out there, you know, you know this, but if you've got two chains on the hook, you can't cross them, they can't get crossed, so you can hook those up straight away, and you don't have to look up, you can hook them up anyway, because when weight comes on the hook, the swivel of the hook unwinds them naturally. Now the only time this hasn't happened is if your load is really light or if your hook is fucked. So if your hook is fucked um, and the swivel doesn't work, it's not going to untwist it. But those are rare, rare occasions. So if you only got two chains on, hook them up any way you want, it's going to untwist, it's going to unravel, all right? If they've got knots in them, yeah, take the knots out. But if they just twist it around like once or twice, it's going to come out. The swivel's going to do it in your hook. All right. And one last thing with chains. Whenever you de-rig, pull the chains off, de-rig a load, close the latch up. Close the hook back up. Don't leave the hooks open, bruv. Big no-no. It can get caught on heaps of things, man. It can get caught on heaps of things. So when you're de-rigging the load, close those hooks up, all right? Now that's a quick, good one, all right? This just for your green riggers, just on the hooks. Four chains, look up, make sure they're not crossed. Two chains, hook them up, whatever, because they unravel themselves. They can't be crossed. And with all chains, once you've unhooked them, close the hooks back up, all right? That's us, bruv. Dales were getting crane tips, a 2020 year. More to come, like these videos, subscribe here. Crane tip fam, we in there. More to come.